Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Legacy. Let's get started. Last episode we ended on Lady Yvette, the legendary barbarian queen. She slew uh, Herodotus, the boss of the darkness. Amazingly. This time we have Sir Shane the Third, the barbarian king. Lady Burda, Burdua, the spell sword, colorblind in glaucoma. And Lady T the Fourth, the assassin with EHS. Hmm. Let's go with Lady T. Eight thousand, five thousand. We have quite a bit of money. I think we also got the last piece of the sky set. Yes. Uh, straight armor air jump and damage return <clears throat> there's really no point to the imperial chest except to complete the look for my armor doesn't seem to weigh very much at least What do I currently have? That gives me a siphon. I'll just have to be a little bit mismatched. I'd like to get to 30s before fighting the final boss. Okay, that took all of our money. That is acceptable. So we now have a 7.5% chance to defy death. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that I've ever used this spell, but it basically it lets you set a point and then you can warp back to it. I believe only assassins can get it. So as you can see, the door to the final boss is open, but I don't think there's any way that we can currently take him. We're going to have to can owl. Did not mean to land there. We're going to have to work in the darkness in the Maya for a bit. Ah, uh, shoot. I think I need the axe at least in order to get that one. got of course it's a curse I don't even have 800 gold to lose right now <clears throat> now I do and of course we got it while we're at full health well looks like we're beating the final boss uh, yeah that's not happening <clears throat> so instead, we're going to pray that we get another <clears throat> blessing chamber. Oh shoot, I didn't know you did that. I should have just gone in for that final swing. Oh no. Oh, 
I have never fought the final boss of Roguelike, see? <clears throat> so it'll be very interesting when we get there. Critical hits actually hit harder than a Hokage's default strike. I will beat you. <sighs> I think if I remember correctly, the number, of, the amount of gold that actually gets spewed out of you whenever you get hurt with the Hedgehog's Curse active is actually more than you lose. So I think if I remember correctly, you can theoretically make money with it. Ow. Theoretically. I took a little, that was a bit of a close shave. <laughs> Part of me didn't want to take that. because it is gone. Oh, game, why do you hate me so much? Take no damage, huh? Easy. <clears throat> Easy with EHS, that is. Oh, I made it through. Goodness, gold doesn't ever despawn unless you leave the room. Oh man, we keep getting our health restored. Ow. Yeah. 
Worse than a doom this mimic. If you're clipping on top of a chest, I know one of you is a fake. so horrible in this match right now. I'm also nearly at full health again. Ugh, I'm gonna lose so much money getting to where I will die. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I got most of it back. Fighting, huh? Easy. MP increased. Oh no. That's gonna have to be filed in the acceptable losses category. from me, treasure. No, it's all out of reach. Okay, that's the entire Maya explored. I'm still holding out hope that we find uh, another blessing room. Not going in there, not prepared. Not even slightly prepared. That's not quite right. if we keep half of this with how much darkness we're gonna have to go through. No, why did I pick that up? Another dwarf only chest. I guess our only course of action to deal with this uh, hedgehog's curse is to make as much money as physically possible.
Take no damage, huh? That shouldn't be too hard, I imagine. Uh, assassins are pretty good for some things. Oh, you didn't die in one. Oh, you douche. There's all my money for the umpteenth time. keep doing that. Have some blueprints. No? Okay. Money works too. <clears throat> Quickly collect most of the money before I die. Bullet. <clears throat> I think I lost like 2,000 just then. Lady T the fourth has been slain by a blue bite. Ho hum, Lady T the fourth, the divine assassin. So we've got Sir Wilco the archmage, flexible and ambivalous. Lady Olivia the third, the spelunkette OCD and stereo blind. And Lady Brissa the second, the assassin, endomorph and gay. Let's go with Lady Olivia the third. Don't really care for that ability. Let's increase our crit damage up. That way, for when we do get crits, they hit really, really hard. What I'd like to do before we go into the final boss is I'd like to have everything that has 75 points at 30. Uh, these can probably be at 10 or 15. 10? Yeah, 10 would probably do, and this one can be a 20. This one doesn't matter, and neither does this one for the final boss, really. And this one's just completely dependent on armor. So, not a major issue either. Okay, yeah, I've got the entire Imperial set. I'm probably gonna keep this cape on. That says air plus two air jump. So I think that means that it actually is better than my jump rune, which means I could replace it with a siphon rune. I don't actually have a siphon rune equipped. I've got a uh, balance rune, which could be better. I think the sky set is devoted towards magic. That one has no point to it. <clears throat> Just weighs less than what I'm wearing and reduces my armor. Yeah, this guy said it's mostly about magic. And again, that just weighs less, but is weaker. I'm going to buy something. Because I have money. Let's buy the retribution chest. Hmm. I've got... M well, no, I am missing two parts of the retribution set. If you wear the full retribution set, you actually give enemies back more damage than you take. But I believe the damage you give back is after, is the damage you take after your armor is taken, to a, taken into account. So the higher your armor value, the less effective retribution runes and the armor is. I don't know, I'm acting like I still have the Hedgehog's Curse. Even though, thankfully, I do not still have it. Hi, Santa! And it turns out that Santa was the final boss all along. really stink for a miner to get the hedgehog's curse considering how much money they make. Nice. Money. I like to get that money. We can pro 
probably go to the darkness and just chest spot. That should be something that we can pull off. Okay, this is not the right way. Spelunker is definitely not being a not going to be able to beat the final boss as is right now. Well, that was fortunate. Correctly, the headlight actually disables glaucoma, and if it doesn't, I know it does make the darkness a lot brighter. Nope, can't get that with my current spell. Need scythes or crows. Crows will solve any of those puzzles. Okay, that was interesting. That Doomvis was hiding over an actual painting. Miner's probably about the only class that can get enough money out of the castle alone to purchase an upgrade of any kind. Gotcha. It is extremely worthwhile to get all of those runes. <clears throat> Okay, we made it. All the rage. Not here. Okay, the boss room's quite a ways down. Adam. <clears throat> oh, do I have OCD? I swear if you give me the hedgehog's curse again, we are not going to be on speaking terms. Oh my god! At least we're almost dead already. I guess. Okay, how close are we to the boss? Pretty dang close. Take no damage. Well, that ain't happening. <clears throat> At least those are just the normal eyeballs and not the uh, any of the special ones. Let flame go out, thank you. Ah, no! Oh, crap. Lady Olivia III has been slain by a Grey Baron. Learning enemy tells is integral to surviving the castle. 
Yeah, but Great Baron strike really quickly. I knew his sword was gonna come down, but it... He swung a lot faster than I expected him to. Anyway, that's gonna call it for another episode of Rogue Legacy. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. You can check out some of my other videos on the right, and if you'd like to follow my content, be sure to click that subscribe button.